Welcome, everyone. In this video, we'll be guiding you through the indirect tax testing use cases using the Data Snipper platform. Data Snipper can help you in performing your indirect tax testing. Whether you're evaluating indirect taxes based on invoices, expense receipts, or ledger details, simply extract the details from invoices or easily reconcile ledger details using either invoice extraction or document matching. Inspecting these documents manually can be very repetitive to perform. In addition, reviewing these documents can be complex and time-consuming. We'll start off with the first use case of extracting details from invoices using invoice extraction. You can very quickly and efficiently extract any details you'd like to inspect. You can then inspect any VAT-related or sales tax-related information. We'll open the use case file and we'll go to the Data Snipper tab. We'll start off by importing all of the invoices we need. After importing, they appear in the document viewer on the right-hand side. What we'll notice is that all of these invoices have different formats and therefore the information we need will be stored in different locations. The benefit of using invoice extraction is that regardless of the location of where the information is stored, we can very quickly and efficiently extract all of the details we need. In our next tab, we see the various details listed out, so we'll simply navigate to Invoice Extraction, where we'll click on the feature and the Invoice Extraction menu will appear on the right-hand side. We'll start off by selecting the relevant files, and we'll then clear any of the fields that have been pre-selected, and we'll select those fields that we're looking to extract. There's a lengthy list of options, but for now, we're going to extract five items as the last column in our template will automatically recalculate the tax percentages based on our inputs. Invoice extraction will now scan all the files and will output all of the SNPs in a new tab which we can very quickly assess once invoice extraction is completed. We see an output tab including all of the various SNPs, where we can very quickly click through them to showcase how they're all linked to the respective files, regardless of the layouts. Simply select these SNPs and copy them into the desired testing tab, from where we can very efficiently see that our calculations are running over the inputs that we've obtained from the invoices. As you can see, the accuracy of invoice extraction is very high and therefore very efficient in processing and extracting details from invoices. Now let's say you want to assess the details from a ledger. In this case, we'll then use Data Snipper's document matching, where you'll start off by obtaining your ledger details in the supporting documents. And by leveraging document matching, you can very quickly and efficiently reconcile the ledger details to your supporting documents and further evaluate the outcome to see if they're consistent. In this additional use case file, we will again start off by importing all of the files we need in the Data Snipper ribbon by simply clicking on Import Documents, navigating to the respective folder, and bringing in the information we need. These files will appear in the document viewer on the right-hand side, where we see that we have a total of five files included in our workbook. In our next tab, we already see that our ledger data is included, including the relevant details, and we see which aspects we want to inspect. Rather than doing this manually, we'll utilize Data Snipper's document matching, where we start off by defining the input information that we want Data Snipper to look for. Note that there are four fields we're going to look for, so we'll select those fields by holding the control button. We'll make sure to include the headers. Then we'll make sure that all documents are included. And we'll proceed by defining the various input and output columns. The input columns are already included, and the output columns are, in this case, selected as the adjacent columns which match our output area. Simply click Match All Rows, and document matching will run. We can now inspect the outputs. What we notice in sample item number one is that all the SNPs have been extracted and reconciled, except for the amount. So let's inspect. And we indeed see that there's a discrepancy. 
we could flag this with the exception snip to indicate that something's wrong. However, if we expect that many other discrepancies might occur or rounding differences, we can pre-configure that as part of our matching options, which can be accessed by clicking on the three dots of each of our input columns, where we'll click on the amounts and we'll, in this example, use a threshold of one. Note that the matching option is indicated by the blue highlights, meaning it's activated. We'll click on Match All Rows again. We'll then rerun document matching, and we'll see that the SNP is made, even though there's a discrepancy, because the discrepancy falls within the acceptable bandwidth as defined in our thresholds. This enables you to also perform matching, even if you expect any discrepancies to arise. Thank you for watching this video. Happy SNPing!